If you're wondering what a tent's hinge door is, this is basically it. It's a door on a tent that works just like a regular door at home. This hinge door is something that has been patented by Coleman, and some, not all, some Coleman tents come with this hinge door. On the other hand, most tents come with separate doors instead, where you would need to zip open and shut the door to get in and out of the tent. If you buy a Coleman tent with the hinge door, you'll get these two extra fiberglass poles to fix it up. These poles have these black tips at each end of the pole. Of the two poles, the shorter pole is for the straight side of the door. First, put the pole together, then insert it through this pole sleeve straight down the door here. The pole will pop out at the other end of the pole sleeve and should go straight into this rubber gasket here. Then, bend the pole a little bit and insert the other end of the pole into the other rubber gasket at the top. After that, simply zip up the pole sleeve like this. The longer of the two poles is for the curved side of the door. First, locate the pole sleeve, which is right here by the zipper, which I have already unzipped. Then push one end of the pole through this pole sleeve, step into the tent if you need to, and secure that end of the pole into the rubber gasket at the top. Then put the entire pole together if you haven't already done so, and curve the entire pole gently. After that, secure the other end of the pole to the rubber gasket at the bottom, and it should look something like this. Then, gently ease the entire pole into the pole sleeve and zip it up slowly. Is it difficult to install the hinge door and how long does it take? Well, to me, I've already gotten used to it and I've done this dozens of times, so it's pretty easy for me to install it on my own now. Nowadays, it takes me about one and a half minutes or just 90 seconds to install the entire hinge door on my own. Actually, all the clips that I showed you above are real-time clips of me installing the hinge door on camera, so it actually doesn't take very long if you know how to do it. If you have someone else helping you with the hinge door, I think you could install it in about half the time or maybe at most one minute, which is really quick. That's actually one of the pros of having a hinge door in your tent. It doesn't take much time at all to fix it up and took me one minute to one and a half minutes tops. The second and probably the biggest pro is that it's incredibly user friendly. To use this hinge door, all I had to do was to grab the handle on the door, pretty much like a regular door at home, pull it open, step into the tent, and let the door close automatically behind me. It takes just 5 seconds tops to get in and out of the tent. On the other hand, zipping a door open and closed to get in and out of the tent will take about 15 seconds or maybe even more depending on how snaggy your zippers are. And from my experience, because most common tents come with this storm or rain flap on the outside to cover the zips to prevent leaking, this sometimes gets in the way of the zippers, which can be a bit frustrating if you're not used to zipping it up. I mean, of course, you can roll the door fabric up and latch it to the side like this, but that definitely affects your privacy and also lets in a whole lot of bugs. Another pro is that each hinge door comes with these velcro tabs along the door to keep it closed when it's not in use. And the last pro is that the hinge door can also be zipped up at night before sleeping, and you can even do so with the fiberglass poles in place so you don't have to take them out before zipping the hinge door up. On the other hand, are there any cons to having a hinge door? Sadly, yes, there are a couple of cons. First, bear in mind that the size of the hinge door is usually not very big. That's because you need these fiberglass poles to support the entire door to make it rigid, and the bigger the door, the more tension will be put on these fiberglass poles, and the more likely the poles would be to essentially break. So I guess I can understand why Coleman made these hinge doors a little bit smaller than their regular doors. In fact, across all my tents with hinge doors, the hinge doors all came down to about the same size, which is about 47 inches in length and 29 inches in width, so honestly not very big, and here's what it looks like when I stand in front of one of them. On the other hand, regular doors can be much bigger. For example, my Skydome tent, even though it's just a small four-person tent, it came with a huge door that measures a whopping four feet in length and 39 inches in width, and here's what it looks like when I stand in front of it as well. 
And the second con is that the fiberglass poles of the hinge door are really quite thin and are probably going to be one of the thinnest fiberglass poles you've ever seen when setting up tents. At this point, I kind of want to talk a little bit about the lifespan of the hinge door. Because of how thin the hinge door fiberglass poles are, I highly recommend that you be gentle when fixing it up. So, especially when bending the longer pole for the curved side of the hinge door, do so gently and don't bend it more than it needs to be bent. After maybe about a dozen campouts or so, one of my poles for the curved part of the hinge door cracked a little bit. But it wasn't a serious issue so I just taped it back using duct tape and it still works fine. And also, the black tips at both ends of the pole dropped out and got stuck inside the rubber gasket, which is kind of funny. I never bothered to fix this up, but it still works fine. If your entire fiberglass pole snaps into two though, I highly recommend just buying a couple of these inexpensive pole repair splints to repair the hinge door pole. So overall, even though the hinge door does have its cons, I think the fixes are pretty simple and I still highly recommend it. If you found this video helpful so far, please help me hit that like button, thank you, and it really means a lot. And now, here are my recommendations on the 4 best tents with hinge doors. In 4th place, we have one of the most feature-rich Coleman tents, which is the Coleman Elite Sundome 6-person tent. When you buy an Elite Sundome tent instead of the regular Sundome, here are all the super cool features that you'll get. The regular sundome tent has just one door, while the elite sundome tent comes with two doors for lots of cross ventilation. And of course, one of the doors in the elite sundome will be this awesome hinge door. The elite sundome also has two extra feet in length, which gives you an extra 17 and a half square feet compared to the regular sundome. In fact, the Elite Sundome's base area is so big that I could fit not six, but seven regular sleeping pads inside the tent, and here's what seven pads looks like. This space here doesn't have enough length for an eighth pad though. The Elite Sundome tent also comes with one room divider, while the regular Sundome doesn't have one. The room divider is to be put up in the middle of the tent, and each side of the divider can fit either three pads, like this, or one queen bed, like this. The windows in the Elite Sundrum have this super cool auto rolling feature which rolls your window fabric up as you unzip the entire window so no more droopy window fabric as well and no more fumbling with these window latches. The Elite Sundrum also has pre-attached lighting and comes with this lantern, this power pack and also a light switch near the hinge door to control the lighting. However, because of all the extra features in the Elite Sundome, it's really quite pricey for a 6 person Coleman tent, more than double the price of a regular Sundome, which is one of the biggest cons of this tent, and this is the reason why I put this tent in 4th place, because ultimately I do want to give you the best bang for your buck. If you really like the features though, then hey, I say go for it, they're really pretty damn cool. In third place, we have the best budget pick, which is the Coleman Montana 8 person tent. The Montana 8 is the least expensive tent on this list and is much less expensive than even the Elite Sundown 6 person tent. And of course, the front door of the Montana tent is hinged, making it incredibly easy for you to get in and out of the tent. But if I'm not wrong, I think the 6 person Montana tent doesn't have the hinged door. So if you want the Montana, get this 8 person version instead. On top of just the hinge door, the Montana tent comes with this awesome porch area, which measures about 103 inches in length and about 32 inches in width. I really like that it provides quite a bit of shading from the hot sun and it kept my flip flops cool instead of superheating it. It is my only Coleman tent to come with a porch. However, bear in mind these few cons of the Montana tent. First, this Montana tent has only one door on the front length of the tent. It is hinged, but I expected at least two doors for such a big tent. And this Montana tent is the only tent on this list to come with just one door. The rest of the tents on this list have two doors each. And second, ventilation in this Montana tent isn't the best. There's only three windows in this tent on three walls of the tent, and this fourth wall here doesn't have any windows and is just one entire block of fabric, but if you take the ring fly off, there's a decent amount of ceiling mesh for ventilation though. 
Overall, I found the Coleman Montana tent to be a great budget pick. I paid slightly over 100 bucks, but definitely much less than 200 bucks for this tent, and I found it to be pretty good value for money. Of course, don't expect top of the line kind of quality and tons of amazing features. This is just a simple budget family camping tent, but a pretty good one at that. Next, in second place, we have the Coleman tent that's best for hot days, which is the Coleman 10-person instant darkroom tent. This tent has a boatload of cool features as well. It has, of course, your super user-friendly hinge door on the left width of the tent. And on the right width of the tent, you get another door, but this is just a regular door that needs to be zipped open and closed. If you buy the smaller four, six, or eight person versions of this instant tent though, they won't come with the hinge door, if I'm not wrong. So you have to get this 10 person version if you want the hinge door. Also, the instant mechanism of this tent makes it pretty easy to set up. I'm only 5'3", and I was able to set up this entire tent on my own in just 16 minutes, which is anywhere between 30 to 90% less time than any other similarly sized tents. On top of that, the darkroom technology is phenomenal. Not only is it a lot darker inside the tent during the day, it's also a lot cooler as well, so it's great for sleeping in. And when you wake up, you can open all the windows and doors and get plenty of ventilation through all these massive mesh panels so it doesn't feel too stuffy in the tent during the day. And when you take the rain fly off as well, you get so much ventilation everywhere. And last but not least, the quality of the materials used to make this tent is pretty good. The fabric is 150D polyester, which is double the thickness of regular Coleman tents, and the poles are made of sturdy alloy steel. However, I wouldn't recommend using this tent if you're expecting tons of rain and wind. The rain fly of this tent is pretty small, so there's not a lot of rain protection, and you would need to at least seal this inverted seam between the flooring and the tent fabric. Also, there isn't much ventilation when it's raining. There are no vents in this tent and also no windows that can be opened. Overall, I feel that this Coleman 10 person instant tent is perfect for summer use with the awesome darkroom feature and plenty of ventilation. I highly recommend this if you're expecting high temperatures and hot weather. And since that's the weather that I usually camp in, I really, really enjoyed using this tent. Finally, in first place, which is the best overall pick, we have my favorite Coleman Weathermaster 10 person tent. The hinge door of this tent is on the front length for easy access into the tent, while the door at the back is just your regular door that needs to be zipped open and shut. I love the Weathermaster 10 person tent because it has the biggest base area of all the tents on this list, coming in at a whopping 143.6 square feet. In fact, I could fit 10 single sleeping pads or sleeping bags into this tent. Here's what it looks like, and I even had a little bit of space left over for camping gear right here by the door. Also, the Weathermaster 10 person tent has the highest peak height of all the tents on this list, coming in at 80 and a half inches, while the rest of the tents had 6 to 7 inches less in peak height. In fact, the Weathermaster tent is the only tent that I had to stretch out my arm and stand on tiptoes at the same time before I could reach the top of the tent. But then again, I guess I'm not very tall, that's why. The Weathermaster also has two of these huge angled windows that can be kept open in even moderate to heavy rain, so there's some ventilation when it's raining. This tent is one of my best Coleman tents when it comes to rainy day ventilation. And like the Coleman Instant 10 person tent, the poles of this Weathermaster are made of higher quality steel, unlike most other Coleman tents that have these fiberglass poles instead. As for the negatives, I think there honestly aren't that many of them. The biggest one I can think of is that Coleman could have made the carry bag a bit bigger for a slightly easier pack up. Right now, the carry bag is kind of small and there's just so much stuff to pack away. But hey, that means there's tons of features for this tent, so that's somewhat a good thing, right? Overall, even though there are so many cool features, the Weathermaster tent isn't even the most expensive tent on this list. In fact, I found it very reasonably priced for everything that I got. This Weathermaster 10 person tent has worked really well for me over the past few years, and I got insane value for money out of it, for sure. 
if you want to find out how it tested and analyzed all these Coleman tents in much, much more detail, check out this video right here. It features all four of these tents with hinge doors, plus 10 other Coleman tents as well. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you again in the next one.